Okay, so right now, I have my guys at my house right now in my studio and basically ripping down the wall that was separating my studio from my bar and we're completely ripping that down. I literally don't even know how I'm gonna go about this build or anything, but I know deep down and I know already that I just need to rip off that middle wall. I'm gonna hardwood the floor. I know that some people are big on basically having the floating floor and levitating and things of that nature, but for right now, I just need a simple room that I can have a base started and then I'll build upon that later on down the line. I'm literally just gonna build a super home easy home studio something really nice something really simple that i can work out of so right now they're just ripping down a wall making sure the outlets are gucci and um and yeah let's just see how this goes i have no idea where i'm going with this okay so this is the room so far long story short i had my guy freddie come in and basically hardwood the floors. Now granted, I know I'm supposed to do things like create a floating floor and things of that nature. This is a basement. I'm not really worried about anyone underneath me or anything like that, but nonetheless, I would benefit from a floating floor. What I wanna do is I want a studio that is aesthetically pleasing, something very simple, something very, very low as far as a budget is concerned. And I can grow into this space. I wanna do something very basic to this room just to get me up and running. Nothing deeply crazy with doubling the walls and things of that nature. I'm surrounded by nothing but concrete. This entire thing is straight concrete, which one day will be absolutely perfect when it comes to base response and things of that nature. If I did double these walls with concrete uh, in the back, this base could be so perfect. But for now and on a super budget, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to try to figure out ways to make this place aesthetically pleasing and then add some acoustic treatment and grow into doing the wild stuff like taking the ceiling down and putting mass loaded vinyl in the studs. We're not gonna do that deep of a build. We're gonna do a super simple build and just make this place look really nice and comfortable and to a sound that I'm comfortable with. Uh, this room is about 200 and I'd say 16 square feet. This is how my house came in the basement. It came with this weathered wallboard. This is kind of like the theme down here in my basement. Now I'm thinking to myself what I really want this backdrop to be because basically this is where you guys are gonna be seeing all the content as far as what's behind me because right here is gonna be my studio desk and then behind here is going to be the actual backdrop and things of that nature. I got a few options. One, I'm thinking about getting a grinder and basically smoothing out the concrete so that I can put something here easily. As you can see, it's a little rough on these spots and I just kinda know that if I wanna put anything on this wall, I do need to smooth these spots out first before I do it. Other option is to just go along with this theme, right? Where basically I put more weather wall boards up and put it all around the entire studio, even to the front of me. Uh, it's a bunch of different options. I'm gonna go through a few. And of course for the ceiling, you know I, you know I love cloud ceilings and I'm basically just gonna do my cloud ceiling design for my ceiling. It'll provide a little bit of absorption, um, nothing crazy, but it'll give me a little bit of absorption to kind of help me remove some of that echo and stuff that, that's probably hitting the ceiling. And then obviously probably the very last thing I'll do is get an actual cloud ceiling acoustic panel to go over my mix position um, as far as the listening position uh, just to help me with that stuff too. So so it's really simple, nothing crazy. Um, I'm just looking for a calm space, nothing crazy on the acoustic soundproofing side, I won't lie to you. I know the rules, I know, but like I said, I'm just trying to create something on a budget and just now, I need it now. I can't be down uh, for this long. So let's get on the Googles and let's figure this out. Also, I'm gonna get rid of these light fixtures. I know you may feel like they look cool, but they are annoying. Okay, so I just came back from Home Depot and basically I got the very navy color paint to do the brick wall. I've decided that I am going to paint this wall, this concrete wall, and I said to myself, you know what, instead of trying to build a new wall on this or basically, you know, add a lot more work to this. I said, wow, I could just get some paint, concrete paint specifically, I learned this, and basically just paint this wall and keep this like texture kind of thing going, this rustic texture. I mean, to me, I already got the weathered 
boards in this bluish color and then I made sure the floor matched it. So I said to myself, well, let me just keep that theme going of that rustic feeling. So I think that actually making this navy blue will actually give it a little bit more of a modern touch and make it look really cool. But I bet you once I put a textured, uh, like a very navy of dark, dark color on this wall, it's gonna make it pop on camera and it's gonna look really dope. So I'm taking a chance. I have no idea how it's gonna look, but I'm excited about how it may turn out. Uh, so right now, what I'm gonna do is, she looks crazy, but I wanted to see if she was gonna fight it. So long story short, what I'm gonna do is, I am going to begin to clean everything. I'm gonna tape everything up, make sure the walls are covered, uh, as far as the floor and stuff like that, and just cover everything up before we paint, and then we're gonna get to it. This is gonna be a long process. Let's get to it. Let's get it. Okay, she's, she's gonna go upstairs and go to bed. I yeah, know. I am. Yeah, she's not I gonna do anything. <laughs> scraped all the stuff, all the excess stuff and smoothed out the concrete just a little bit. It wasn't too bad. I kind of want to retain that texture and stuff like that. So I'm not trying to make it ultra, ultra smooth. I kind of like some of the entropy and chaos on it, but uh, now it's time to paint and I'm, I'm, I'm scared to death. I'm excited at the same time because I have no idea how it's going to come out um, and how it's going to look. But I saw it in my head. Now let's, let's see what happens. So I just did the first coat of paint um, as well as just the first coat of paint and let me show you the result. Dude, it looks so fire. Like I, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't expect it to look like that. Like it looks dope. And what's funny is I was planning to do a second coat on this thing, but I actually like this kind of like chaotic, like kind of imperfect kind of like look that it has. I love this, I'm in love with this wall. I can't wait to put like LED lights and all kinds of craziness on this wall. So um, yeah, uh, let's just keep it going. Okay, so this is the second day of me painting and I am done painting uh, with the brick. I'm done painting on the concrete and I love how it looks. It looks wonderful. I'm so happy how it looks and how it turned out. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint this side of the wall and this is gonna be way easier because this is just regular sheetrock. So this will be a lot faster and a lot easier just to paint. So I just have to paint this. And once I paint this, I'm done painting and then we just gotta go to the ceiling, which is gonna be a process. We're gonna put a cloud ceiling up top. So my mom decided to come down and help me. I appreciate that very much. That just cut down the time of doing that paint by tenfold, appreciate you. Honestly, just going with this like I don't really know what I want to do um, 
I'm taking my time. I'm not doing anything so destructive where it's like, okay, obviously if I was doing like a massive studio um, kind of creation that I would need to really, really make sure I plan it out. But being that I'm doing things lightly, I'm just gonna be doing more sound treatment than proofing. Um, Man, I'm just going with it, and I can't wait to see how this comes out, because I'm genuinely, I'm just letting y'all know, I have a small plan in mind, but I'm really just going with it and seeing what feels right. So, uh, yeah, let's continue to build. Shh, I'm tired.